Okay, what's up everyone? VGGX right here in Tango be reacting to Shantae versus Shovel Knight. Cartoon Fight Club. So yeah. If I had to guess, I feel like Shantae's going to win, but Shovel Knight with his arsenal and armor and everything, just maybe. But Shovel Knight man, Shantae does have the advantage by having more games than Shovel Knight, which could be a big problem, but I don't know really. But anyway. So yeah, as always, make sure to watch the original video. We'll be right back here to watch it together. Okay? Okay. I'm a tree wine. Present. The level of the Ronnie's band is in Deadpool. The skill of Slenderman. Warrior vs. Shadow. And the back. Wait, that's the part of fight with Shante vs. Double Knight. Or something. Anyway, you can come up to me people on Cartoon Fight Club! What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 160th episode of Cartoon Fight Club! <laughs> Smack and Nerf! Oh my gosh, I made my Smack and Nerf! Oh, now I really want Shovel Knight to win! Check out the older content, but if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight! Tonight's episode was animated by Smack and Nerf! Smack and Nerf! His channel and oh, I really can't wait for this. Of tonight's battle, we have a fight between Shantae and Shovel Knight. With all this being said, I do know both characters. If all of you saw my Shovel Knight vs. Scrooge McDuck death battle. Scuttletown is a small fishing port that is ran by Mayor Scuttlebutt. Except when it comes to securing and protecting his town, he doesn't do a great job enforcing the law from pirates and thieves. Luckily for him, there's a young genie hybrid known as Shantae. Genies That's have always played a very important role in protecting mankind. However, all of the fool genies ascended to a higher plane of existence after they felt like their job as protectors were no longer necessary. With that in mind, half genies like Shantae didn't really have any other choice but to stay with the humans, making her one of the only options to protect humanity when they need her most. Shantae's signature ability and use of combat is whipping her ponytail. She That's true. whips her hair back and forth to deal damage on her targets. Her hair is strong enough to block cannonballs, break metal armor, and can bust through thick stone. Is that's true. That that's gotta be. Light magic, which is a type of magic that's gotta be really. To spell away that's gotta be really hard, actually. Wielders of dark magic. She conducts her magic usage through her belly dances, which signal different spells and arrays of energy. She can use her magic to transform into various formations of her choice. She can turn that's into a monkey to easily climb walls, a mermaid to breathe underwater, an elephant to gain strength a bird to fly, and even a spider to have a mixture of all transformations from wall crawling strength and better aerial control. She also really? carries an assortment of bombs, healing potions, a pocket pistol, and her trusty blade. Shantae's Wait, aren't those Rix Rixie's gear? ...and wish granting. With her fire manipulation, Shantae can produce a spitfire that sends out three fireballs, or for an even stronger attack, she can create a stream of fire which creates a single constant blast. With her wish granting, Shantae was able to wish away the pirate's curse, which saved Scuttletown. However, she herself has stated that because she is half human and that she lacks experience with wish granting, there are many limitations to what exactly she can grant. Speaking of being half human, this definitely sets her back from doing anything she wants like a fool genie. She lacks durability as armor isn't really her strong suit. Oh. And because she is so young, she can be quite easy to fool. Overall, right. Shantae is a half human, half genie hybrid with the ability to manipulate fire and grant wishes. She has the potential to do many powerful things, but at the same time, she is also very young and naive. Throughout the history of knighthood, there are two important things. Come on, Shovel Knight. That was my brother's thing. I don't know why I did it. I guess finally got to me. Greatest knight to ever live, Shrek. His vows <laughs> were like onions, and his primary weapon was it's his Knight. good looks. For King Arthur, it was his vow to place character above riches as he wielded the legendary Excalibur sword. But for Shovel Knight, it was his oh. vow. 
as his weapon of choice was the Shovel Blade. Shovel Knight's current vows are to never give up, but this wasn't always the case. Back when he was a young rook in knighthood, he fell in love with a woman by the name of Shield Knight. Oh, I was always wondering if you Shield Knight was a boy or a girl. Which got her locked away. Because of this, Shovel Knight blamed himself entirely and dug a grave in his career, no pun intended. However, Shovel Knight re-entered the Knight game when the Enchantress threatened to take over humanity and started manipulating other Knights. As stated, Shovel Knight's primary weapon of choice is of course the Shovel Blade. It's a very self-explanatory tool. It can dig things up like a shovel, and it could cut and deflect things like a blade. Shovel Knight handles it in a very unique way. He can perform aerial digging attacks as if it was purely a shovel, and he can fence it around as if it was purely a blade. At the peak of his condition, he can perform a drop spark, which is a beam of endure that emits from the thrust of his blade. Shovel Knight also possesses many variations of armor and mail sets. His That's true. armor can deflect many metallic attacks, and his strongest armors can tank hits from Kratos himself. Oh, I'm gonna just gonna add that. Kratos. Beyond his shovel, he carries the flare wand, which can blast fireballs, his dust knuckles, which are gauntlets that amplify his punches, and his face, which makes him invisible and intangible towards him. Getting those are to counter Sante's abilities. He can run on water and can jump over 50 feet in the air, which definitely needs superhuman strength. Oh, and did I forget to mention that the dude was on par with Kratos in battle? Because that's pretty... What about the battle codes? Shovel Knight was not only able to keep up with Kratos, but actually defeat him in the heat of a fight. Overall, Shovel Knight is a very powerful and unique knight. He is well equipped with many relics and tools which make him a very dangerous opponent. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place in Scuttletown with no problem. Alright, it, it would make sense for someone like travel there. I am going with Shovel Knight on this one, I mean, someone like could counter any of Shantae's abilities. Oh no. He has more experience. No way. Oh, well, dang. Some players are causing damage. Why Skull Town? Victory is mine. What do you have to say for yourself, Black Knight? Ah, uh, no. Oh, this makes sense. Dante's gonna think someone like did it. Dang! Okay, this is actually kind of like a death battle, actually. There's one of the death battle fights. I'm not comparing to death battle. Dang! Oh, you know he's gonna use those good things for your elephants. Alright, someone already pushed through that mountain. Alright, let's go win. Are you only having many ways to counter each other? Oh no. And the winner is Shovel Knight, but before we discuss Smackadurk, you are really improving. The battle animator, Smackadurk. If you enjoyed what you saw, head on over to his channel and subscribe. But now, let's discuss why Shovel Knight is the winner. It's important to know that Shantae and Shovel Knight have many different ways to counter each other, which yeah. can really make this debate a toss-up, but there are significant reasons why I believe that Shovel Knight walks away the victor. Once again, the counterability of each character really nullifies pretty much all use of each combatant's arsenal. Shantae can counter Shovel Knight's projectiles with her bubble shield, Shovel Knight can counter Shantae's fire with his armor, 
Shovel Knight can counter a lot of Shantae's transformations with his phase locket. Shantae can counter Shovel Knight's downward strikes with her healing dances. And this patty cake back and forth game can go on and on for all day long until we reach the X factors of this debate. These X factors being who has the edge in mental and physical dominance. While Shantae can heal herself, her magical dances are infinite and they do take quite some time to put her back into peak condition. Shovel Knight That's true. does have some healing methods on his own, but these are way more strict than Shantae's. However, in the same sentence, his armor and greater durability takes care of needing replenishment in the first place. This would give him a physical edge in being able to take more punishment. Secondly, Shovel Knight most certainly has the edge in skill and experience. He is far older and has trained for much longer than Shantae. He's been through much more experiences and adversities, which make him better equipped to fight her. We can't That's true. That Shovel Knight was powerful enough to be on par and defeat Kratos in battle. And while Shantae is powerful in her own right, we have never seen her compete with someone at that level of power like Kratos. It's also worth noting yeah. that she is very naive, meaning that Shovel Knight can trick her into some dangerous situations, which would lead to his victory. Making the winner of this battle, Shovel Knight. Now, if you want to see a two-on-two -two rematch between Shantae and Roddy Tops versus Shovel Knight and Shield Knight, all you got to do is like this video. No, there's going to be a, a two-on-two -two rematch like that. There will be a rematch. Plus, don't forget to comment down your own ideas for future episodes. And stay tuned because the next fighters are going to be revealed. Uh, Alright, I'm getting closer to a war between Undertale and Gravity Falls. Oh, right. The Hulk versus Hulk Hogan. No, I realize that, that they have the same name. Hulk and Hulk Hogan. Anyway, dang. Shantae was doing a shovel knife. That's something. Hmm. Never mind, I guess shovel knife claimed the victory. Okay. Grand Theft Auto versus Watch Dogs. Hmm. Thank you, my versus Watch of Boo. Anyway. That was really something right there. I gotta say, it really is, it really is something. It worked. Yeah, I'm happy I still like one and smack it there. I really, I really like it. Like, dude. Anyway, as always, please like and subscribe. Welcome to the post here. Thank you. Next time. Please get out.